Hello guys, welcome back. In this video we'll look at quickly installing git and uh, cloning a private repository. I'm already on the git website as you can see. You can click on Windows uh, to download the Windows version of git. It's going to download the 2.26 version. So that's finished downloading. And I've got the installer up. So I'll just click next. Yeah, I'm just going to go through with this because I've got another video that talks about how to install it. Um, all the options you selected. Um, if you're on Windows, it's fine. Um, so you can use your own editor. Like the, the options it was talking about is which editor do you want to use? Do you want to add it to path, etc., etc. All right, so that's fine. Next. Now I'm gonna try and use git from git. Okay, still can't find it. So basically, what I've done is I've created a folder called C temp git private repo demo on my local hard drive and I'm trying to get git to work. Uh, so I still can't run git commands. So if you look for the git binary, the git bash is here. This is where the git bash got installed. There it is, git bash.exe. And git is installed in the bin folder. That's git. So I just grab that and add it to my path. So to do that advanced, so go to control panel, look for system, okay, system, and security and maintenance system, there it is, advanced system settings, and that brings up the path, environment variables, and I'm going to find path here. I'm going to edit that and add a new file to the path. Oh, what's, the, what's it already there? Okay, for example, it's git cmd. Okay, well, I don't know what that is. So, I've added it to path. I might have to log off and log back in. Uh, git, yeah, I might have to log back in. So, I'll just log off and um, log right into the computer. Alright, so finally I'm logged back in to the computer. And let's try git. There it is, so git's working. Now I'm going to have to switch back to the C temp folder. So I've got nothing here. Um, well, DIR. I've got nothing here. So I'll show you what repository I want to clone and how. So I'm going to clone this one, that's a private repository. Uh, I'm here, ju I'm just logged in to GitHub. Um, yeah, just just github and then that's my repository that I want to clone it's a private repository as you can see here let me see if I can zoom in okay there it is so it's a private repository um, I want to be able to clone so the clone address is here okay there it is so if I do a git clone it creates a folder um, and then see it asks you for a login so uh, I could log in here and it would work but Let's say I don't want to do this, right? Uh, it just says log on failed, that's fine. And I'm going to show you how you can clone without a login. I'm going to go back here and go into my account. Let's go into settings under your profile and go to developer settings and uh, go to a pad, personal access token. Um, I have this one that I'm going to use, but I'm going to show you how to create a new one. I'm going to say generate a new token. Just give it a name. Now let's say PowerShell on my Dell. Something like that that makes sense to you. And you could give it different permissions. I'm just going to give it the repo permissions because I don't want this uh, token to be used to make any other changes to like the admin hooks or uh, my user properties, you know, you can be very picky. Um, read discussion, write discussion. So you can be very picky as to what, what you want the token to do. Uh, but from this computer, I just only want to do the repo stuff. So once you're happy, you just click on generate token. And it shows you this token, right? And you can only see it once. Okay, I'm going to use this one. So that's fine. So I go back to GitHub tokens. 
Yeah, I'm gonna delete that in the at the end of the video. So if you got the token, you still won't be able to use it. Uh, yeah, I'm in the repository, so I need to be able to clone. So let's say I want to download the repo to a new folder. I'm gonna create a new directory. Call it um, dbms. Right. So let's say I want to clone into that. Uh, all I've got to do is git clone. Okay, I'm just gonna push this up because it keeps. Yeah. Okay. So git clone, and then I need the URL. So HTTPS. Um, so before the URL, I just paste the token colon x o auth basic. So that's x hyphen OAuth. OAuth is the protocol. Uh, basics the uh, it's a basic authentication and paste so your, your URL will look like, like this what you could do if you don't want to use the token in the URL every time you can add it to your bash profile as a variable like dollar github token or something like that uh, well github underscore token or github token um, which you can reuse uh, or, or swap in place of this so it's not visible to the naked eye and yeah, but it has to be in your bash profile. You could do the same with Windows, uh, so Windows PowerShell. You could make it a variable. And in the end, you add git. It doesn't matter. If you don't add git, it'll still work. So if I press enter now, it shouldn't ask you for authentication. Right. There you go. So ls. Okay. So it's got to, it's created another folder. So get rid of this. So um, let's say I want to clone I want to clone this into a folder called dbms that I've already created. Right, I'm in the git private repo demo folder and there is a folder in there called dbms and I want to clone into that. So at the end of the command you add the directory where you want to clone. So if I do a dir there should be dbms, if I do ls dbms and it should show you what are the contents of the um, it should show you the contents of the directory. So that's how you would go about cloning a private repo without using your GitHub credentials. So without using or without having to type credentials each time. Git ignore. And I'm just going to add dot VS code here and, and close. Save. Yes. So I've just made changes, so git status, so I'm going to git add, git status, that should be staged, okay, so git commit minus m, right, and then I'm going to try and push, it's going to complain about the origin uh, not being set, well, uh, well, that worked, uh, it didn't even complain about the origin because it knows uh, where to send it. So yeah, that's, you know, it's a lot easier than just cloning using your username and password. Um, and it's a lot seamless. So thank you. I'll see you in the next one.